we're going to hear from subcommittee chairman Tom Dixon in regards to our uh, musical therapist bill, and uh, I'll turn it over to him for his uh, presiding. We call this meeting the subcommittee to order. We have one bill to consider, that is Senate Bill 414, and members of the subcommittee, you have a substitute for 414 in, in your folders. Uh, Senator Un Unterman is not able to be here, and we will fill in for her. Representative Taylor is going to introduce. Why don't we have the people in the audience who would like to speak first? Uh, Rachel? Yes. 33, LC 33, It's our goal to provide good quality music therapy services to the public. Hearing Association. We greatly appreciate the opportunity to work with the music therapist on this bill. We
peers. It was a great experience. What I wanted to share with you is a, a small story about what it is that we do. For those of you who aren't very familiar with music therapy, I live in Roswell and I own a private practice in Roswell. Uh, it's a small business. I employ four music therapists, hopefully to grow. Um, but wanted to tell you a story about one of my clients who suffered a traumatic brain injury. Um, in my practice with him over the last several years, we have specifically been working on gait training, um, visual tracking, fine motor, gross motor skills, through music activities, movement activities, and playing instruments. Um, his family actually invited me to go overseas to China with them uh, while he received adult stem cell um, injections, eight of them. I was in China, I made that into a research project. I worked side by side and every day I worked side by side with physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists in my practice, working with my clients. Um, specifically, I wanted to talk about the gait training that I did with him and the importance of having some sort of training behind what I'm doing in order to physically manipulate patients and work with them. Um, so I appreciate the opportunity to work with them and to let you know what it is that we do. And if you have any further questions on what music therapy is and how we're working with your constituents, I'd be happy to answer those for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Michael Sullivan. licensing as it currently states. We're in a position where our funds are decreasing, our needs are increasing, the number of people that we're required to support and provide service to is ever increasing. And it is tougher for us to keep up with what is not only required of us by the code, but also what is expected of us. The length and times are, are getting longer for what we have to do, uh, the wait time for getting calls answered are increasing, the investigations time is increasing, and thus uh, our office's position has been for several bills now to insist on language that at least provides some sort of protection to us, that essentially says that if you're going to pass new legislation to require us to license a brand new class of people, that that uh, provision doesn't become effective until funds are appropriated. That we aren't in the in this situation of being of needing to take staff and resources away from who we currently license and put them to to someone else and essentially have everyone worse off. Uh, this language is not unique. I, I have 30 bills that have been passed with this language in them or introduced with this language. Everything from home inspectors by Representative Jurgison to uh, roofing contractors by Representative Weldon and, and uh, um, Representative Cooper. I mean, this is usual language, but it's not included in this bill. If the language is not included in it, it's our office's official position that we would be opposed to it. If it is included, uh, we are we're neutral, and, and we will. We've been happy to work with the individuals that are proposing uh, this language. We've been happy to provide them them support and, and suggestions and, and language, but um, the, uh, the position is that, that without just some language that it doesn't become effective until funding. That's, uh, that's our sense. Thank you. Any questions? Yes, sir. A brief one, if I could, and I appreciate the uh, Secretary of State's office you know, position. You guys were one of the, the, the parts that did, I think, Work with the governor of the ZBB this year, right? The zero base. Correct. In, in, in doing so, did you break it down toward, you know, if, if you will, per hundred people licensed, what the approximate cost would be? I mean, that's sort of what ZBB boils that stuff down to. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody can help me with a nodded head on. Do we think there would be 150, 200 therapists? Uh, 120 therapists. Right. So, I mean, it, it's not as if you're going to get, I don't think, thousands yeah. of applications. And I understand one is more than you're having to do now, but. It, I mean, can you give the, this subcommittee a, an order of magnitude sure, in you, terms of the, the funding that would be required? It, yeah, it, 
I, I don't have a exact number, but what I will say is that whether it's regulating ten people or or you know, a thousand, it, th there is a certain um, there is a certain cost associated with just any group. Now, if you've got a hundred thousand, that's obviously going to be a number much more. But in terms of uh, being able to create information that's needed being able to train all of our all of our staff for these are the type of questions that come up being able to uh, prepare and create the web services that are required and, and pay for our vendor to update the service uh, well so so it, it, I, I say that the, the ongoing cost isn't necessarily going to be very dramatic that is simply going to be the, the staffing cost to us and in investigations and, and calls but it, it's just the initial cost that it is. I understand. If I may follow up, I don't mean this to be adversarial at all. We understand. Yes. I, I, for one, will say I'd like to see the bill move forward. I understand we made changes here so it would go back to the Senate and we could, we could be in a posture to move the bill, taking into account. But what I'm a little surprised to hear is if, we, if the Secretary of State was one of our offices that did do a ZBB, that we don't have at least an order of magnitude. You could tell me, hey, to start up another program, our base cost is $10,000 or our base cost is – so perhaps we'll, and, and I put you on the spot with that today. I don't, I don't mean to do that, but I just want to get an order of magnitude. And because you said call volume and so forth, I, I think clearly if, if they called you every week, you would only get two more calls a week. Right. I understand the startup cost. I won't belabor the point, but I hope we can move the bill over, take take your uh, um, comments into consideration and work with that to, to keep the bill moving forward because it will have to go back to the Senate for an agree, and, and it could be agreed as amended. Uh, Representative Powell, even though you're not on the subcommittee, we'll let you ask your question. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not on the subcommittee. Go ahead and ask it now. That Do we still use the, you was talking about all the other uh, skills and professions that have asked for licensure, but do we still use the GORP process? Uh, is that an age? No, no sir, we, we, we do utilize that, that process. It is in the essentially in the discretion of the chair and, and the legislature. Uh, but that is a, uh, the, the chair has sent bills to that and, and they have been reviewed, the last of which I believe was the um, fence and, and home inspection, or the, the, the fence contractor electrical uh, alarm uh, dealers. That was the last and, and that was done two years ago, reviewed two years ago. So in that being said, has this has this bill gone through the GORP process? Uh, no, sir. Has there been any recommendations back? Uh, no, no, sir, not, not to my knowledge. Okay, any further questions for this speaker? If not, we welcome the senator. Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry I'm late. We just got out of session and I was getting the health committee going and we're going over there. And uh, I don't know what you've done so far. Secretary of State testified and was the bill presented? The bill's been presented. Uh, you had a number of folks speak in favor of it and we're actually waiting on a motion at this point, I think. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> okay, I won't say anything then. <laughs> um, I, I do appreciate all your hard work. I know you have worked very hard on it, and I'm very appreciative. And all the folks that have worked on it, I'm very appreciative. Okay, thank you. Do we have a recommendation for this bill to carry forward to the full committee? It's uh, appropriate time, Mr. Chairman. I move uh, do pass the full committee Senate Bill uh, 414, LC 33, 47, 57A. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Members of the subcommittee, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The recommendation goes forward to the to the full committee, which begins now. Okay, okay, <laughs> already.
Okay, now the full committee will come back to order. And we will take uh, entertain a motion for a new panel. <laughs> Love DOT. <laughs> Okay. As uh, substitute. Do I hear a second? Any further discussion? All those in favor indicate by saying aye. Opposed like sign. Bill goes out with a due pass recommendation. Thank you. Okay, Senator Grant, uh, Senate Bill 114. Gosh almighty. What, what, are, we, what are we doing over here? <laughs> One fourteen. We got any more DOT members to be recognized? <laughs> Okay, Senate Bill 114. Uh, Senator, sorry for the delay, but now you can proceed. led to a couple of changes before it comes back to the full house of this year and the posture that we were in when I uh, stood before you last week was we were going to prepare a committee substitute that would include the language from House Bill 514 which dealt with uh, tastings at a distillery. That bill passed through the Senate uh, with no changes. There was an attempt to uh, add an amendment on there but that was uh, voted down and so HB 514 is exactly the same version that passed this uh, committee and passed the House. So there's no reason for us to uh, include any, inf any language from House Bill 514. Changes have been made to uh, Senate Bill 114 to make sure that it was not in conflict with House Bill 514. Uh, but uh, all House Senate Bill 114 and the form in front of you does is just expands the, uh, the places where a distillery can be operated in the state of Georgia. Uh, it allows for uh, that distillery to work through an importer, a broker, or a wholesaler uh, to sell in this state and in other states. Uh, and it allows that uh, distiller to um, have an educational or promotional tours. It's silent on the, uh, the tasting language, and uh, so therefore it does not conflict with HB 514. I'll be happy to answer any questions, but I uh, commend Senate Bill 114 to you for uh, a due pass recommendation. Any questions from members of the committee? I see no questions. I have a move and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, uh, all those in favor indicate you're saying aye. aye. Opposed, like, sign. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. Pass recommendation. Thank you, Senator. Uh, what else did we have? Okay. We're going to do something very unusual. I don't know whether it's legal or not, but to accommodate an old friend and a horse racing enthusiast, uh, Representative Degas Singer, has got a. He's withdrawing the substitute. It's in committee right now. 
he wants a new uh, committee substitute to House Bill 467 introduced. We will not take any action on it. We're going to table it so he can get it put on the Internet, as I understand it. That is correct, Mr. Okay. Chairman. The, I appreciate your effort to allow this to occur. As you say, it may be unusual, but we want to accommodate the public so that at least they can see where we are in the uh, scheme of things. What I would like to uh, substitute is LC 285937 with LC 285979S. And I would ask the committee to take action mm -hmm. to do yes, so. 97S. Oh, 90, so okay. All right. But we're out of you don't You don't have a copy of it, I'm sure. Yeah, we do. Yeah. You do? We got it now. All right. Well, then that's what I gave you before. No, you gave us a different number. Anyway, this is the bill with the thing you're talking about. Okay. That's it. Any questions of the author? What his intentions are? Okay. Okay. Mr. Chairman, I just wanted you to know that when you had that notice out of horse racing, it brought people out of the woodwork. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad. Is there any further business out in the audience that we have not talked about? I think we've taken care of music, horse racing, alcohol. What else do we need? No further business coming before the committee. I declare this meeting adjourned. Thank everybody for attending.